Probably the question that I'm asked most often is, where do I get my ideas? When I start thinking about a book, I see ideas everywhere. I devour the newspaper, I go to art museums, I listen in on conversations in restaurants, and gradually a central situation will emerge for me. And from that situation, I'll come up with a conflict. And at that point, I begin to think about my characters. And I try to pick characters who, by virtue of their personality or their background, will have the most difficult time dealing with whatever situation is that, that I've come up with. I want my characters to triumph, but that triumph is only a value if the struggle to get there is intense. I don't think about theme when I begin to write, but themes gradually emerge. Uh, the themes in my books tend to be compassion and forgiveness. And I think we write about the things that we value, the things that we struggle with ourselves. I know that I learn from and I'm influenced by my characters the same way that I hope my readers will be. People often ask me how my career as a social worker influences my writing. Uh, I think it had a great influence on my writing. I like to explore family secrets and I want to know the ramifications of those secrets both before and after they're revealed. And I know that comes from my years as a psychotherapist and seeing the damage that family secrets could do to those family members. I was also a medical social worker for a number of years and that uh, gave me an understanding of medicine and the medical world which frequently plays a part in my fiction. Being a social worker gave me psychological insight into people which in turn gives me psychological insight into my characters. More than anything though, I think my career as a social worker gave me an appreciation of the resilience of people. How people can not only survive tragedy and difficult times, but emerge stronger because of them. I feel very fortunate that I've had two careers that have enabled me to touch people in a positive way.